Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Coker. Over the past several days, you've done a lot of work with problems involving equal groups. In this video, we will review the three types of equal group problems you worked with. When we began exploring equal group problems, the problem told us the number of equal groups and the amount in each group. We just didn't know the total amount. That's what we were solving for. Let's take a look at a sample problem. There were three boxes of pencils, and each box held two pencils. Now, we know the number of equal groups is three, or the number of boxes is three. We also know the amount that goes in each group or each box is two. We just don't know the total amount of pencils. We solve problems like this in many ways. What methods do you know for solving problems like this? Pause the video and share. There are many ways to solve problems like this. For example, we could draw a picture. I'll start with my three groups. Then I'll put two pencils in each group. Or we could use skip counting, two, four, six. We could also use repeated addition. I have two plus another two plus another two. And finally, we could use multiplication. In the pencil problem we just did, we knew the number of equal groups or the number of boxes, and we knew the amount in each group. We just didn't know the total amount. Now, let's take a look at another type of equal group problem that we just learned about. In this new problem, we do know the total amount. Here it is. Miguel has 12 candies and he wants to put an equal amount into each of four bags. How many candies will go into each bag? This time, we do know the total amount is 12. We also know that we want to put the candy into four equal groups. We just don't know how many candies will go into each group. Because we know the total and we know the number of groups, we can make fair shares by putting one piece of candy into each bag until we've shared out all of the candy. Look, there are three pieces in each bag. The amount in each group is three. Let's take a look at one last problem. In this problem, we also know the total amount. Alana has 12 candies. If she gives away three candies to each friend she sees, how many friends will get candy? Again, we know the total amount of candy is 12. This time, we know the amount in each group because she wants to give three candies to each person she sees. We just don't know the number of groups she can make or the number of times she can take three away from her whole amount of candies. When we know the total amount, and we know the amount in each group, we can keep taking away that amount or repeatedly subtract that amount to see how many times we can take it away, or how many groups we can make. Let's see. We can take away three candies once, three candies twice, three times, four times. We just made four groups. That means Alana can give candy to four friends. Boys and girls, we just looked at three types of problems that involve equal groups. Today and every day, when solving problems involving equal groups, start by identifying what you know and what you are trying to find. Depending on what you are trying to find, you could use repeated addition or multiplication, fair shares, or repeated subtraction.